Yo, what's up squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dylan. It's an early, early morning. I hope all of you are good. But as you can tell from the title, today is going to be exciting. This is my first JDM import. Um, today we're going to be picking up a new car. I've been working on this for a few months now, a few weeks. And today's the day. The car is finally here. Um, came from Japan, came to BC, came to, now it's here in Ontario. So I'm finally going to pick it up. I'm excited, ready to go. We're in the car, about to head out. Hopefully everything goes well. So buckle up, let's go, let's head out. Let's see how this new car turns out. I'm excited, let's go. A few moments later. All right, y'all. So we made it here. We just got the paperwork. You can see the form right there. Now it's time to head over to this side, and we're gonna be picking up the car. So y'all can't see what it is yet, but let's go get it. So we're actually here in the yard. I actually see the car. This is exciting. Picking up your JDM vehicle, I guess. This is super exciting. Like, look at all these cars that are here in the yard. Chargers, look at this Porsche right here. Let's go pick this car up. A little longer than a few minutes later. A look at the latest import. It's my first time seeing this car. Damn, this is so cool. RHD. It's time to go home. Man, this is sick. So this is about to be interesting. One hour drive home in the new import. Hopefully everything goes well. Wish me luck, guys. You guys can't see it, but we really need gas. I'm about to do that right now. So we are sitting on this side, but let's head out. Let's get home, let's bring this baby home. Crazy, bro. After so many months, it's here. Let's go. Five minutes later. All right, squad, so we made a little pit stop at the gas station. We're here at Esso. It's finally time to go. It's finally time to go home. Uh, we got some gas, we're gonna hop on the highway. I got my brother following me. So hopefully everything goes well on this mission. Wish us luck. We'll be home with the new JDM import. She, stay tuned. We're we'll driving home in the JDM. I must say, this car is super comfy. Like, I don't feel any bumps. And because we have a six cylinder, I feel like it has so much power, so much torque. 120 cruising. This is easy, bro. This is nice. I really like it so far. I'm just enjoying the drive. Hopefully, we get home soon. The next day all right y'all so it is a new day i was extremely busy i didn't get time to finish up the vlog but we out here look at this car in the sun damn fresh import now it's on the driveway it made it so some of you might be wondering what the hell kind of car this is this is a random jdm import but we'll talk about it soon let's bring out the car on the road and let's get some shots always interesting when you gotta walk on this side open up the door Boom. See, I got the fresh key tag. Bring back the OG yellow. Ooh. Already got that works bell quick tilt. Push this down. Pretty cool. But yeah, let's reverse it. Let's put it on the road. Let's get some shots of this thing. When you're on this side, you're so close to the curb. Your parking better be perfect. Like, can't make no mistake. Come on now. 
Yeah, that's pretty sick. Maybe on the right side. Get the park up. And There's a whole lot of cars ruining my shots, but there you have it. This is the new car. This is the new to me 1999 Toyota Mark II. That's what this car is for those of you who don't know. So yeah, 99 Toyota Mark II, also known as the JZ X100. Real quick, shout out to Stacked Exports. They're the one who helped me out with this whole process and bringing this car in. They made it so simple. It was so easy to get it here. And I'm just thankful. I'm thankful that everything worked out. The car is home safely, and here it is. S2000 is still here, chilling. It's been good, but um, yeah. Let me explain a little bit about this car. So real quick, for those who don't know this car, this is part of the trio of the Toyota family sedans. So you had the Toyota Chaser, you had the Toyota Cresta, and then you have the Toyota Mark II. So the Chaser is the more sporty one, the Cresta is the more luxurious one. So then the Mark II is like a bit of both, it's the best of both worlds and you get the sporty side and you get the luxurious side. I feel like in the 90s they used to give people so many options for cars, there were so many trim levels, different models, different accessories that you could add to the car, really make it your own. Now it's a little bit more cookie cutter but to me it's pretty cool, this is a product of Japan, this is what they offered at the time and it's like a time capsule. I'm happy to have this car now. And let's talk a little bit more about it. So you might be wondering, out of all the cars I could have imported from Japan, why the Mark II? So let me explain. So one of my goals for 2022 was to get an RHD, RHD car. Um, ever since we got the FD, that car has been so fun. I really enjoyed the RHD. It's just an experience, it's a good vibe. Uh, Japan knew what they were doing when they were making cars. So I really wanted to get an RHD car. Uh, so I started looking at the beginning of this year. I bought this car back in May, so I started looking early. Um, initially, I wanted an S15. I wanted an S15 Spec S, but the prices for those went up like crazy. Like, they went out of reach and I had to look for something else. So because the S15 was starting to get out of reach for me, I started looking at the JZX100. At first, I was looking at the Chasers. I really like the Chasers. They actually look so good. They look sporty. They look like a BMW M5 in a way. But yeah, the Chasers are really cool. But then I started looking at the Mark IIs. I started seeing on my Instagram, I'm not gonna lie to you. And for me, I like boxy cars. So the Chaser is a little bit more round. I started seeing the Mark II is a little bit more boxy. And when you throw a kit on a boxy car, it just looks sick, it looks gangster. And I realized the Mark II actually looks better than the Chaser, in my opinion. So yeah, I started looking at the Mark IIs after that. They have a nice look to it. The front is so sick. You got the chrome grill, really squared headlights. Reminds me of the DC2 Integra. Um, the tail lights are really sick when you throw a kit. You just got that long bar. Man, the Mark II looks so good. Once it's done up, this is obviously bone stock, but I don't know, still looks cool. And uh, this is just a start. So like I said, shout out to Stacked Exports. They're the ones who helped me purchase this car in Japan. This car actually came off. So this wasn't an auction purchase. This was actually off a dealership. So this was in the lot sitting in, in Japan and no one was buying it. 68,000 kilometers, 1999 Toyota Mark II. And I just had to scoop it. The cool thing about this one, this one is fitted with all the Toyota accessories. So you got the OEM lip kit, front lip, side skirts, and the rear lip. You got this right here. I forgot what it's called, but it's also OEM Toyota. And then you got OEM Toyota window visors. So like these little extra details can be beat. You will not find this on a stock car. So yeah, this car is bone stock, all OEM Toyota. 
with a lip kit and everything. So this car is pretty cool. Has the 30th anniversary logos. You open the car up. And for the mileage, it's super clean. Like you can see the side sills. Everything in here is pretty clean. It does have an old Japanese smell. I'm not gonna lie to you. But let's start it up real quick. Starts off with ease. Got them power mirrors. Come on now. Got power seats. Power seats in 99. Power recline. Lumbar support in 99. Come on. So yeah, these cars were kind of ahead of its time with all these power options and lumbar support. Um, let me pop open the hood. Really love the grill on here. Engine bay is mad clean. It looks like this car hasn't been driven. 68,000 kilometers. Bro, literally looks brand new. So engine wise, this is a 1JZ VVTi, non-turbo. So it's a 1JZ GE, not a GTE. Um, it is NA. Maybe one day we'll do the swap. I don't know. It's also automatic. Got the hood dampers. Set it down just like that. Open the door. Got frameless windows. Frameless windows, pretty sick. And let's turn on the lights real quick. So we got some HIDs along with the fog light, yellow fog lights. Pretty cool. Like I said, it reminds me of the DC2 Type R. And then in Japan, I had the, the light up license plate, but unfortunately, they didn't keep, they didn't give that to me. So yeah, here's the new fresh JDM import, my new JZX100. For me, this car is gonna be the daily, hopefully. That's why I picked it up. It's supposed to be the daily. Keep it bone stock, enjoy it for now. But the overall goal for this car, hopefully we can complete the swap. I would love a 1JZ turbo, a manual swap, throw a differential in there, and maybe we can go out drifting. Um, these cars are known to drift very well. Such a long chassis, rear wheel drive, and they can fit a lot of wheels, and hopefully one day we can get there. But for now, it's gonna be the daily. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, coming along for this journey of me importing my first car. Thank you guys for watching, you already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please leave a like for the new JZX100, come on, what are you doing? But like, comment, subscribe, I will catch you in the next one, I'm out, peace.